Water makes life possible as we know it here on Earth. Human beings, for example, can only survive for a week or so without water. Because oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen, a water molecule is a polar molecule. The structure of a water molecule allows it to form weak hydrogen bonds with other molecules, including other water molecules. The hydrogen bonds derive four properties of water, which contribute to Earth's suitability as an environment for life. Those are cohesive behavior, its ability to moderate temperature, its expansion upon freezing, and its versatility as a solvent. Cohesive behavior. Hydrogen bonding keeps water molecules close and structured. The characteristic called cohesion contributes to the transport of water and dissolved nutrients against gravity, gravity in plants. For example, water from the roots reaches the leaves through a network of water co conducting cells. Adhesion, the clinging of one substance to another, also helps counter the downward pull of gravity. Due to the cohesion and adhesion, water has a greater surface tension than most other liquids. The high surface tension of water, resulting from the collective strength of its hydrogen bond, allows the water strider to walk on the sur surface of a pond. Moderation of Temperature Water moderates air temperature by absorbing heat from air that is warmer and releasing the stored heat to air that is cooler. Hydrogen bonding gives water a high specific heat. Heat is absorbed when hydrogen bonds break and is released when hydrogen bonds form, helping minimize temperature fluctuations to within limits that permit life. Thus, water is effective as a heat bank that because it can absorb or release a relatively large amount of heat with only a slight change in its own temperature. A large body of water can absorb and store a huge amount of heat from the sun while warming up only a few degrees so that the gradually cooling water at night can warm the, uh, warm the air. With its high specific heat, the water of the ocean stabilizes temperatures on land and in water li within limits that permit life. Also, because organisms are made primarily of water, they are more able to resist changes in their own temperature than if they were made of a liquid with a lower specific heat. Water's high heat of vaporization helps moderate Earth's climate. A considerable amount of solar heat absorbed by tropical sea is consumed during the evaporation of surface water. As moist tropical air circulates polar, it releases heat as it condenses to form rain. On the other hand, the evaporated cooling of water contributes to the stability of temperature in lakes and ponds. The evaporated cooling also prov provides a mechanism that prevents terrestrial organisms from overheating. For example, evaporation of sweat from human skin disease dissipates uh, body heat and prevents overheating on a hot day or when excess heat is generated by strenuous activity. Expansion upon freezing Ice is less dense than liquid water. Water begins to freeze when its molecules are no longer moving vigorously enough to break their hydrogen bond. Its more organized hydrogen bonding causes the water to become locked into a crystalline lattice which, uh, in which each water molecule bonded to four partners. With the molecules at arm's length, the ice floats, preventing the liquid water below from freezing and allowing life to exist under the frozen surfaces of lakes and polar seas. Versatility as a solvent Water is a highly versatile solvent because its polar molecules are attracted to charged and polar substances. Water dissolves ions, or polar substances are surrounded by water molecules dissolve and become solvent, performing hydration shells around the ions. A compound does not need to be ionic to dissolve in water if they, are, if they have polar regions. Organisms are made primarily of water. Because of the versatility of water, many necessary nutrients are, can be dissolved in blood and circulate in the body of many organisms. Therefore, because of all those four characters of water, water is significant to the organisms that live in Earth. And therefore, water makes life possible as we know it here on Earth.